All right, so now we're gonna have some fun with these scales, our C major, our E minor pentatonic, and our A minor pentatonic. Um, what we're gonna do is we'll put it on some tracks, and at first, you're gonna kinda run up and down the scales along with the tracks. And this'll be, um, it's a little bit more fun than just kinda going through the exercises, um, you know, on their own. So uh, once you, you have a handle on the exercises, and yeah, grab these tracks, and that can be your, your kind of warm-up you can think of it as when you just run through the scales. And then after that, what we're going to do is start applying them a little bit more musically. So uh, we'll, we'll, you'll be playing the scales, but mixing up notes, going up a little bit, then a little bit back further. And then, uh, and again, as you, time goes along, you'll be able to add in extra uh, you know techniques like hammer-ons and pull-offs and all that kind of stuff. But right now, we're keeping things really, really simple. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're now going to take our C major scale and we're going to put on a track and we're going to simply go up and back down it. And I'm just going to do it a few times because, you know, you, you'll get the idea very quickly what you need to do. And then what you're going to do is, um, you know, when you're at home, is you're going to do this a whole bunch of times. This will be part of your practice. You're going to jam along with the backing track, um, just going up and down the scale a whole bunch of times. Just get used to that. And then later on, what you're going to do is you're going to start jamming with it. And you're going to go up the scale a little bit, down the scale a little bit, repeat things. And just try to do the best you can to make it sound cool. There's only... Don't worry about it. It's not going to sound too impressive. You'll hear me playing. It's not going to sound overly impressive. There's only so much you can do when you're at this stage where you're going. You know, you're not, you don't have the skills yet, yet to add in all the, the cool little um, licks and stuff. So don't worry about that. This is not about sounding like an incredible, impressive solo. It's just about getting your fingers used to moving up and down the scale, not just up the scale and down the scale, but up a little bit, back down a little bit, up a little bit, letting the notes ring out, repeating things. You know, and as we go along, you'll build up the skills, and little by little, you'll start to to play some more impressive sounding, you know, solos and stuff. So, here we go. Let me sh let me start it up, and here we go. We'll ring out maybe a little bit. Keep going up and down. So don't worry about it if it's, you know, it sounds a little weird, you know, because um, there's certain phrasing that the uh, the rhythm um, guitar goes through. It kind of goes through certain cycles and then repeats again. Um, because you're just going up and back down, you're letting some notes ring out at the beginning and end. Um, it's kind of messing up the rhythm. So don't worry about it. That's no big deal. It's just, it's just more fun doing it this way than just doing it to the air or doing it with a boring um, metronome. Now, another thing you want to do that I forgot to mention is you want to just play the track and then start tapping your foot. Get used to it. You want to get that beat in your head. So as, as this thing's playing, without the guitar, just tap your foot a little bit. Get used to that beat. That way it's actually going to help you with going through the scales and also messing around when you're going up and back down. You know, you're improvising. So that's an important part. You know, move your body, feel that beat. All right, so let me go back to the beginning again and then we'll just do some jamming now. 
Back a little bit. like that. Speed up a little bit. There you go. Um, again, as you go along, you'll you'll start to uh, do a little bit more uh, jamming. You know your phrasing. Put some tricks in there later on. But just try and just go. You know, focus on just going up the scale, down a little bit. Don't worry about it not sounding impressive or anything. You know, you'll get there in time. You know, little baby steps. Um, so yeah, that's it. So work on that, play around with that, and uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving along. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with our E minor pentatonic. I'm just gonna go up and back down a few times. Again, you can do a whole bunch of these, and then we're just gonna do some uh, very simple jamming with it. So, uh, here we go. Whoops. bunch of those you know um, on your own but start playing a little bit
repeat things. Same thing. Feel a thing. We start from the bottom. So for so a little bit of jamming on there, kind of limited with pentatonic and these few notes, but uh, you get as creative as you can. Um, sometimes it's even f more fun, like um, more well, more challenging. You know, like if you're able to play all these scales and everything, having to be stuck in one little area and trying to be creative, that can be really challenging for more uh, advanced players. So, um, but anyways. There you go. That's how that works. Just go ahead and, and again, just going up a little bit, down a little bit, repeating things, you know, building like little themes, and just do whatever you can. And again, if it's just simply not really sound like a whole lot, it's no big deal. It's all about just being able to go up to scale, back down a little bit, up to scale, getting used to doing that so you can start to develop your skills. So there you go. There's key of E minor and your E minor pentatonic. So uh, let's keep moving along. Okay, so now here we go with A minor. Again, we're going to go up and down a few times. Again, you can do that tons of times on your own. You just do it a couple times and then we're going to get into just doing some jamming. So here we go. Oh, one second. Up and down a few times. Get that groove. Tap your foot or move your move your body back and forth. You know, and get into it. Go up and down that scale. And then now, do that a bunch of times. That was just going to do some jamming.
this will speed it up a little. You get the idea. Just play around, have fun. You know, of course, the last stuff you're not going to be able to do right now, but just, uh, yeah, just have fun with it. Again, up, little down, little bit, a little bit up, a little bit down. Mess around, repeat things. You know, it's all about just trying to go, um, get used to your fingers moving around, and little by little, trying to hear that music connect to the music make sure you're you're with the beat you know you gotta really feel that beat that helps you with creating phrases and stuff so uh yeah put some work into that and uh yeah have have some fun with all that okay so there you go we went through the um c major scale a minor pentatonic and uh, the E minor pentatonic and the A minor pentatonic. So, um, yeah, you just go through that again. Spend some time just simply going up and down the scale. Get used to that. And then um, you can do is do in the very beginning. You could do a lot of that, and then start doing just a little bit of improvising. You know, because it may be a little bit difficult for you at first. And then, um, then as you you get better at the mechanics of going through it, that start doing a little bit more and more improvising until you're doing like half and half. And then maybe you can even do a little bit less of the going through the scale and more improvising. But always do a little bit of going through the scale though. You want to keep that, that um, you know, your exercises up. So um, another thing I want to talk about before wrapping this up is what I call the suck phase. So nobody comes out sounding great when you're doing this you know you might have some that that maybe they take take to it a little bit more easier and they're able to go through and actually start making some melodies you know relatively quickly and uh but there's a lot that go that start doing this and they just don't know what to do and there's nothing wrong with that you know you just take your time and just you know apply you know the, the techniques I was talking about here just going up a little bit you know going down a little bit just really connect to that music you know try the best you can and it, it's it's all about um, at first just kind of just getting through the mechanics and it's it's just not going to sound great you know you're, you're going to be playing like, oh my god I stink at this and and you know I, I'm just no good at it well Again, this is the suck phase. We all go through it, you know, and you've got to push through it. If you do not, 
you know, you, you're like, oh, I stink at this, and you start avoiding it, then guess what? You're going to keep avoiding it and keep avoiding it, and then 10 years from now, you're going to be like, uh, I want to play lead, lead now. You did all that time you wasted, but you weren't playing lead. And you're going to be like, oh, I wish I would just went and just started it way back then. I, I'd be so good now. So you don't want to be that person. Just go ahead and just push through it because it's just going to stink. You're going to maybe even get like, my God, get frustrated. But push through it, push through it. Because as you push through it, little by little, it's going to start to you know sound pretty cool. You're going to be like, oh, well, that, that kind of started to sound like it made sense. It didn't sound like I'm just running through a scale now. You know, I started repeating these things, and it's, it's actually sound, starting to sound a little bit like music. And then as you go along, you'll learn some, uh, like, hammer-on, pull-off licks or something, and then you apply those, and it's like, whoa, that actually sounded pretty good, little by little. And that's getting through that suck phase, and then all of a sudden that's when you start enjoying it it's starting to sound sound good but you just got to get through the suck phase because yeah you're gonna suck at first just face that deal with it and then you can move on don't let that destroy all your uh, ambitions for playing lead guitar it has nothing to do with you being talented or not being talented you're not meant to do that no it's just a normal part of the process so just push right through it, and, and you'll start start getting better at it. You know, it may take some time, but you'll get better at it. Just take your time. So uh, there you go. There's some jamming in that. Work on that. If you have any questions, let me know. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving along. All right. Take it easy, and we'll talk to you soon.